I'm Joanna Brakewell, I'm Head of School here at Cromwell High School. We are a special school for children in Tameside who have severe learning difficulties and profound and multiple learning difficulties. And we're going to tell you a little bit about our onwards and upwards journey. So traditionally at Cromwell we used to use two different uh, assessment systems, pivots uh, and B-squared. And what we wanted to do is bring everything together onto one system uh, and we chose onwards and upwards to do that. What we found on our old assessment was that pupils would either get stuck uh, on one of the old P levels or would move on too quickly before their learning was fully embedded. Um, two main aims of our new assist assessment system for us were that we wanted pupils to be able to show what they could do uh, in things that hadn't been previously assessed, so things like PECs, narrative therapy, colourful semantics, and we also wanted to be sure that before they moved on to the next level that, that we knew they had that deeper learning um, embedded. So we've made an, a bespoke um, assessment system to do that. We decided um, to make two different levels, uh, C levels for Cromwell, and then another system, S levels, which are for our sensory learners. Um, and this was a really brilliant thing for us to do, to have the two different assessment systems running alongside each other. A big benefit of the system is that for each learning target that the pupils have got, we've been able to um, assess how much support they require to do that target. And we've got that weighted as well um, on the onwards and upwards system. So we've said whether the children are just engaged in that learning, whether they've been able to complete it, par completion, co-completion with an adult, whether they've required some scaffolding, whether they've done it independently or they've been able to generalise it. Um, and like I say, those are weighted differently depending on our requirements. Um, we've also been able to make some of them not applicable, so if it's a writing target, fine motor control and the pupil's got a physical disability, that, then we can make that target non-applicable so they can still make progress. And just in case any of the teachers uh, click on the wrong things, they're, they're able to zero it, zero it. So this has been uh, really good for us. So we've set the system so that once pupils have achieved 80% of that level, then they can move on. And you can set it at whatever percentage you want. But within that, we've also chose to make some of our learning targets, KPIs, key performance indicators. And unless the children do actually achieve those, then they won't move on to the, to the next less level. And that's really helped us with making sure that that deeper learning is embedded before they do move on. The onwards and upwards system allows us to track progress and respond very quickly uh, if we're concerned about a child's progress. Where the children are read, we can hold um, a pupil progress meeting and put in strategies and interventions to help them so that by the end of the year, hopefully their progress will have improved. One of the most useful functions that my teachers have reported back to me uh, is the detailed report that you can do on a pupil. So you can see exactly where they are at each different learning target um, and you can plan for their next steps you, using that. It does allow you to go um, into the next level or the next two levels, the next three levels, whatever you need for planning their next steps. I'm now going to pass you over to Sarah Williams who's uh, our assistant head and our ICT coordinator. She's worked really hard with Onwards and Upwards to make the system work for us and put some changes in place that make it a Cromwell assessment system exactly the way we like it. So I'm just going to let her give you some examples of, of what's been done to do that. Hi. One of the ways that we've personalised the Onwards and Upwards system is to change the colours that show up in the progress summary. So you can see that we've got a bronze, a silver and a gold. We've also got a red. The reason we changed this was because we wanted our pupils to be able to understand the language that was being used in the system if we were discussing their progress with them. It also means that we can really, really clearly see those pupils that need that little bit of extra support. If you've got a pupil who's on red, it shows that they are a long way behind their target and need some extra um, interventions given to them to help them catch up. One of the things that we love most about the system is that it is our system and we've been able to make it bespoke to what we want. We've requested changes, for example, um, the detail report that Joe showed you earlier on with the breakdown of the different outcomes. We specifically said that as teachers that would help us with our assessment and our target setting for the next term 
we said that to the team at Onwards and Upwards and within a matter of weeks they developed a report that we could run really easily in the system um, t to help us with that. We are really confident in the fact that the Onwards and Upwards team will work with us to make our lives easier as teachers. Another thing that we love about the system is that the team at Onwards and Upwards listen to our feedback and the feedback from other schools and they manage to put in features that work incredibly well. You might not have even known that you wanted it, but once it's there, it's fantastic. So for example, on the progress summary we've got here, you've got the target now column, which shows exactly where you should be up to with each individual pupil on the day that you run that report. And what that means is we could set longer term targets instead of our targets being an end of year target, potentially we could set end of key stage targets and we can still have a really accurate representation of where each pupil needs to be at every single point through that key stage. So in summary, since starting to use onwards and upwards, we found that we've been able to have a completely bespoke assessment system that works to our own needs. We've been able to track our pupils more accurately and we've been able to set some really challenging but realistic targets that we can show progress against.